Seoul prosecutors requested an arrest warrant for Park Geun-hye. This is for the impeached president's alleged role in a massive corruption scandal, with bribery being the most prominent among the 13 charges she faces. Hwang Woo-jun starts us off. After days of will they or won't they, the Seoul Central District Prosecutor's Office announced the bombshell news Monday morning that they will seek an arrest warrant for the disgraced former president Park Geun-hye. And in the afternoon, the Seoul Central District Court announced it will hold a warrant hearing on Thursday morning at 10.30 a.m. Park was interrogated by prosecutors last Tuesday, but has so far not been detained. If she appears at her warrant hearing, she will be questioned in the presence of her lawyer, but whether she will is still unclear. Prosecutors said they requested the warrant for Park based on the severity of the charges against her and because there's a risk she could destroy evidence. Park faces 13 charges, eight of them filed by the prosecution and five by an independent counsel. They include bribery, abuse of authority and leaking state secrets. Park has denied all the charges against her, even though many of her alleged accomplices have either been arrested or jailed for their suspected involvement in the scandal that led to her impeachment. If the whole central district court issues a warrant, Park will become the country's third former president to be arrested for criminal allegations following No Teu and Chun Doo Han. She could face more than 10 years in jail if convicted of receiving bribes from conglomerates, including Samsung. As for when we'll know, in February, the court ruled on a warrant for Samsung Electronics vice chairman Lee Jae Yong 19 hours after his hearing. So if the same holds true for Park's warrant hearing, we could expect the court to rule by early Friday morning. And if Park is arrested, the prosecutors will have up to 20 days to continue their investigation and file formal charges against her. Hwang Woo-jun, Arirang News.